Hello gamers, Chuck Siegert, once again the designer of Stuka Leader. We are now done with two days, four missions. We've lost a few pilots, gained some good friends, I guess you would say. But our latest loss was Puffer. So I'm going to add another JU87D Esric. He again was on the top of my pile, so that's why he got chosen. He is a skilled pilot with eight. He has no cool one zeal. And he is ready to fly. We have, this by the way is Eshrick's card. We have at the start of this mission, we have 20 fuel tanks. We have only two SOs, and uh, Von Konzel is the only one of our guys who has gone up. He is now average. That needs four. And, uh, zeal and everything else did not change. So, we are ready to rock and roll. Because of that tremendous... Recon and Intel coup that we got on those last two targets. We are up now to where we can pick three targets. So let's pick the first one, see what we get. A secondary, one bogey, soft. This is a rail yard. Second ticket. Naval, small. This is a destroyer. Third ticket. Escort four bombers. Penalty every bomber lost is one VP. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Not necessarily the best as far as uh, points and everything else are concerned, but I want to take this one because, if nothing else, it's going to show you how my new bomber escort rules work. So, first things first. Got to get a really cool looking overlay. Vlad made too many of them. If you want to know the truth, there's 14 of them here. It's like, how do I pick? This looks like a nice bomber target. So this target is one bogey. It's an escort mission. So we're escorting four bombers. Penalty, one bomber. Each Every bomber lost is one victory point. So the bombers are in here, in my in my situation. You can put them wherever you want. They are just generic HE-111s. They are not. They are not actual HE-111s. And for ease of operation, even though. They don't have it in the, uh, when they're their actual HE-111s. These HE-111s I gave turrets. Just because that way they can defend themselves a little bit better. The actual HE-11s do not, but... You know, maybe my thinking was wrong, but I thought this would just make it easier. But anyway, here we go. So we've got our objectives, for lack of better words, on the table. They're ready to rock and roll. Now, this has sights in the target and approach. It has one bogey in each approach area, possibly, and it's possible to spawn a bogey. Now, one of the problems with these moving across the map like they do is that if it keeps spawning bogeys in the center area, the last couple turns are not useless. So now the spawn bogey shows up here in the west of pre-approach so that he will definitely get involved in the battle. All right, those are the little side rules about this particular mission. I can fly five aircraft. And again, I got to escort all four. Every bomber I lose is a minus one. Bombers do not suffer minor hits. If they suffer a major hit, I do not have to draw a chit. If they su suffer a major hit, they must turn around and attempt to exit unless they're past the center area. Um, and if you get a destroyed result, the bomber is gone. So just so you understand all those. I have selected my target. So determine and place sights. 
There's one in the target, one in each approach, possibly. Yeah, we're full of sights. <laughs> The HE-111s are going to be flying at low, just like the HE-111s and the actual, your actual HE-111s fly. So now that we have determined and placed sights, now we have to choose pilots. We can assign up to five. They're obviously going to be escort pilots. So here comes Mr. Brecker. Gruber is sitting. He's got way too much stress. Von Kanzel. And we're going to have to... Hecht has got way too much stress also. Krautner is way out of stress. Well, we're going to send Mueller, the replacement for Drexler, although he's not a very good fighter pilot. He's really good at ground attacks, which could come in handy someday. Um, that's... That's it. That's all we've got for fighters. So we've got three escorts. And I am going to put Mueller in here with the bombers. Brecker on the northeast and Von Konsel on the southeast. The idea is that they can be fry and get up here and maybe start messing around with uh, escorts or bandits before we get to it. Prepare for mission. No need to load these bombers. They come loaded. They're not going to bomb. They just want to go across the board. That's their whole thing. Target bound flight. Draw a target bound event card. This is the top, as you remember. Use two additional fuel per aircraft. Oh, well, that would be a good thing if I actually checked that. I don't even know what I'm using per aircraft. Target 17 is green, which means nothing. But now I'm using two additional fuel, so I have to use six barrels of fuel. Okay. Place aircraft, choose altitude. I've got my aircraft placed. They're all low. Remove proper number of fuel barrels. <laughs> I'm now down to 14, but I only have two days left, so that's okay. Come back here, you. All right. <laughs> okay. Cards taken care of, that can go away. Determine and place bogeys. Here we go. There is one possible in each approach. Okay. So we have three bogeys, one no bogey. Intel air adjustment. Well, now that's what uh, is awesome. I get to remove one sight, one bogey. We're going to get rid of this 37 millimeter, which happens to be right in our way. And we're going to get rid of this bogey right up front. <laughs> I love Intel. Draw over target event card. This is the middle one. If legendary pilot misses their attack, one random pilot on mission suffers plus one stress. We don't have any legendary pilots flying this mission, so that's very good. Place turn counter in one. Over target resolution five times. Dive bombers down to low. La, 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 la. Nothing going on. So we get the aircraft move. And console's going up here and taking him. Brecker is heading up to intercept that bogey. Bogies move. Uh, the closest non-involved escort is there, so he moved there. Advanced turn counter, we're on turn two. We have no bombers. Fast pilots attack. Well, I think Mr. Brichter, yes, he has an SA, so he is going to attack his bogey first, and let's see what he finds. 
Once again, remember only British aircraft count. So we get a hurricane. Woohoo! A newbie hurricane. Have fun, Mr. Brecker. You need another kill anyway. Let me mark who's all on this mission. Von Konzel, Brecker, Mueller. Okay, so those three are in. Brecker is attacking. His choice of maneuver, let's see, Brecker is plus one, the enemy is minus one, uh, minus two, so Brecker is plus three on his decision making, so he is definitely going to try. He's going to try a half loop just to make sure. Plus three. Seven plus three is ten. Half loop gets him all the way in the back, plus two attack. I think he's going to make pretty short work of this guy. For his attack, Brecker is plus one. The enemy is minus two, so Brecker is plus three. He's on his tail, so he's plus six. And he gets plus two attack, so he's plus eight. Brecker doesn't even have to shake a dice. And this guy is in the drink. So Brecker's got a hurricane. That gives him two kills so far this campaign. Oh, yeah. I forgot to draw a bogey. There is a bogey here. Um, now we get the Sights and Bandits attack. The only We've got a sight here that can fire at Brecker. We'll get that taken care of. 379, Brecker has no, as a zero uh, robustness, but he's going to take a stress. And take uh, the five. <laughs> a five gives Brecker a yellow. His yellow is a head wound. Or hand wound, sorry. Hand wound on a yellow, minus one ATA for this mission. Well, I'm glad he got that out of the way after he got rid of his bogey. Uh, over here, we've got a 20 millimeter. Now we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which one does he attack? Shakes a nine, so he's going after Mueller. Four, eight, ten. Mueller's uh, zero, so um, you know, he's got the stress to spare at this moment. So he's going to take a stress. A four and a four. So he takes one yellow. Stress. Mueller now has two stress. Uh, this uh, site is going to fire at Von Konzel first. Von Konzel, he's getting there. He's going to take a stress, though. Nine and a seven. He takes the seven, which is a major hit. That could turn out non-positive for Mr. Von Konzel. Funny bone hit. <laughs> I find that amusing even if I did design it. No maneuver this turn. Because whenever your funny bone gets hit, everybody knows that's not funny. Bandit is now attacking Tom. Tom cannot maneuver this turn, so ooh, and he runs into an average Spitfire. Okay, Spitfire D10 plus his ATA and the uh, 109's maneuver, which is zero. So eight plus one is nine. He is attempting an in my sights. He's plus one, Von Konzel's plus one, so they're even. Uh, friendly maneuver is zero, friendly waypoint zero, so he's even on his success. He gets a one, which is about the worst success he can get. And in my sights, he's minus one position. I think Von Konzel doesn't have to maneuver. Isn't that exciting? 
All right, all of the sites in the bandits have attacked. Now we go to slow pilots attack. Brecker could conceivably strafe that guy, but Brecker is minus, three, minus two, he'd need a 10. I guess it couldn't hurt, nothing to lose. Needs a 10, gets a three, well, you know, close. All right, over here, Mueller, what the heck, he's on the ground, he's down on the ground, he's going to uh, strafe this guy. The cool thing with Mueller, as a skilled pilot, he is plus three ATG. So he needs a five or higher and gets an eight. That site is destroyed thanks to Mr. Mueller. So he gets a site. And then Von Konzel gets to do his attack. Now, Tom cannot maneuver this turn, so here he goes. He's, uh, he's plus one, he's plus one, so they're even, but Tom gets a plus one because he's on the side. So Tom gets plus one, needs eight, so seven or higher. Gets an eight. Tom shoots down an average Spitfire without maneuvering. Well, miracles never cease. Tom's now got four kills. He's getting there. All right, slow pilots have attacked. Aircraft move. Tom gets the ability to maneuver back. Enemy aircraft move. Uh, Tom's going after this because Brecker's minus one ATA. All right, advanced turn counter. It's start of turn three. Draw for the bogey. No bogey. Yes, indeed. All right. Fast pilots attack. Don't have any. Sights and bandits attack. Well, let's get this bandit out of the way right away. It's a hurricane, an average hurricane. Average hurricane in Von Konzel. The average hurricane is plus zero. And the friendly maneuver is zero, so he's even on his choice. He shakes a two, he's doing a tight turn. He is zero, Konzel's plus one, so he is minus one on his success. On a tight turn, shakes an eight, becomes a seven. Doesn't matter, he gets one position on Tom. He's attacking, he's zero, Tom is plus one, so he is minus one, but he gets one for the position, so he is even. And there is no action result that would give him any points. So he's even on his die roll. He's a 589. Tom has four of the five stress he can take. Tom whips out his zeal, goes down to two stress, and then takes another one. So now he's at three. A pair of sevens. Well, isn't that exciting? And he's plus one, so those are a pair of eights. Oh, Von Konzel gets another red one. Let's see if he's got another funny bone to hit. Ooh, this is an actual hand wound. Now, hopefully you can see this counter. I'll put it up on the screen also. Hand wound has a little star underneath. The little star underneath means that his... Um, he has to spend one day not flying because he has suffered a one day wound. And actually I kind of cheated, if you want to think about it, because red also means that the aircraft is damaged, which means he drops all um, ordnance, that kind of stuff. But two damaged, which is what Tom just received, means that the aircraft is destroyed. So Tom is shot down aircraft destroyed so he needs a five or higher and shook a four mr consul is out of the campaign man that is not good all right 
right. <laughs> okay, slow pilot's attack. Mr. Brecker is now going after him. Mr. Brecker is minus one on his attacks based on his wound. So he is uh, even. Well, he's plus one and then the minus one, so he's even. The hurricane is zero. His maneuver is zero, so he's even in whatever thing he chooses. He's choosing in my sights. Shakes a three, gets plus one attack. So he is plus one on the attack. Needs seven or higher to kill him. Shakes an eight. And another hurricane bites the dust. That one courtesy of Brecker. I'm not going to tell you how many kills he's got because that seems to be bad luck. Um, the only other slow pilot we got is Mueller. He's going after this LMG. He is, again, plus three ATG. That's amazing for a 109 pilot, but we like it. So he needs a five or higher. Shakes a seven, and this LMG is destroyed. He gets another sight. He may become a bomber ace while flying a fighter plane. I'm not really sure how that works, but okay. Aircraft move. Wrecker's going up there to intercept anything that might appear. Advanced turn counter. This is turn four. Shake for a bogey. Bogey appears. Wrecker immediately moves to intercept. Dive bombers dive to low, don't happen. Fast pilots attack, don't have any. Sights and bandits attack, so let's see what this bogey turns out to be. A lot of French aircraft like to show up here. Spitfire, green. Green Spitfire is plus zero. The green Spitfire goes uh, first. He's got zero ATA, a friendly maneuver zero, so he is even on his choice. Shakes a nine. He's going to attempt it in my sights. He is zero. Brecker is plus one, but then he loses one, so Brecker is zero. So we're even up. Oh, too late. A six. Oh, Brecker got awful lucky. There's a yellow one. Temperature gauge. Ooh, even with an exclamation point. Temperature gauge, minus one maneuver this turn. So, slow pilot's attack. Brecker is not going to maneuver at all. He's just coming at him. Plus one, minus one, and he's zero. So it's zero. Attack, zero added needs an eight. Shakes a nine, yes. And another, a Spitfire goes down. Wow, Brecker, three kills this mission. And that's the end of that turn. Aircraft move. Brecker's staying put just in case. Here come the bombers. We go to turn five. Let's see if a bogey shows up. No bogey. So game's over. So we have ended this mission. Pretty quick time. And now we come home. We're going for the Homeward Bound event counter. This is the last one. Pay one SO or two random pilots suffer plus one stress each. Oh, I'm down to one SO. Target is destroyed. It's two victory points. Uh, wounded pilots and damaged aircraft roll for safe landing. Tom would have had to roll for it, but he isn't anymore. So these four go back. Okay, that was a that was a successful battle. We shot down uh, three or four. English hounds and we didn't we only lost one aircraft so that wasn't too bad record mission outcome victory points already did that um, 
Recon and Intel each go up one. We get Zeal back. So anybody who's used their Zeal gets it back. Gruber's pretty happy with that. Zeal and, Bre uh, and Brecker get that back. So that's good. Brecker gets back his SA. That's good. Um, we've got one special option point. Add target card stress. There is no stress. This was a green target. Uh, pilot stress recovery. Okay. Aircraft that did not fly today, and I'm not going to fly anybody. I'm uh, not going to do any secondary missions. I have a couple secondaries that I could fly, but quite honestly, my, my squadron is so stressed after two days. We're done. We, we've, we've flown enough for today. So anybody who didn't fly, first off, Brecker goes down one to two. Gruber did not fly. If you do not fly, you subtract two. Stress plus your cool. So Brecker or Gruber did not fly, so he gets rid of three stress. Two plus is one. Gets him down to one stress. That's far more manageable. Mueller has one cool, so he goes there. Heck did not fly, so he goes down two. Down two, two. And we'll find a, a two in here somewhere. There it is. Krautner gets to lose three stress, so he goes from seven to four. Still in trouble. Rosmanich gets to lose two, so he goes down to one. Heitmeyer will lose the one he's got. Steinbecker gets to lose the two he's got. And Erschrick being new, he doesn't have any. All right, so at the end of turn three, or day three, if you will, we've got 10, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12. We've got 12 victory points already, so we are into adequate. <laughs> Two more days to go. Per the rules, this target card that was not, the target cards that were not used or destroyed go get shuffled back into the pile. All right, that's the end of that mission. Um, we will be back for the next day's mission, day four, uh, as soon as we can. Once again, folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time. That was one of those quick missions. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the fact that the, that's how those work with the bombers going straight across the board. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, this was kind of the medium one. I think I've got one where there's five bombers and you get a lot more, uh, bogeys and that kind of stuff. But hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll be back with day four as soon as I can.